Okay, let's talk about stereoscope. I'm back once again with part three of our metering series. Uh, we covered loudness metering, we covered spectrum analyzing, and today it's time for stereoscope or stereo image metering. Just, you know, getting a good view, uh, metering properly the stereo image. I'm gonna use three plugins today. I'm gonna use uh, the M Stereoscope, which is a free plugin by Melda Production. Uh, super cool plugin. Thanks to uh, the guys at Melda for uh, providing us with a, such a nice stereo meter. I'm also going to use the Ozone Imager, uh, which is a, uh, a meter and also um, an imager because the M Stereoscope is just a meter but with the uh, ozone imagery, you can uh, see, but you can work on the stereo image too. Uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, just a, a small part of the ozone 8 uh, Im imager that you can have if you buy the uh, ozone or ozone advanced. Uh, but this one is free. Uh, you can start using it right now. And uh, finally, I'm going to use the uh, Wider by Infected Mushroom, which is a plugin I, I, I like a lot. Um, just, uh, I'm going to use it as a, what it does, it's, it, it's going to stretch, uh, uh, the image It's going to widen the image and I'm going to use it just to, uh, show you how the stereoscope work. So we're going to mess with the image and see, uh, how it changes. Uh, so let's do it that I did a small loop here. And since the last pack I've worked on is the synth wave one, uh, the synth wave preset pack. Well, I'm kind of the, in a synthwave mood, so that's the, that's the loop I did. I used a bass from the patch, which is bass 11, and there's a simple pattern playing here with a simple kick. Uh, the only processing uh, is the OTT and some side chaining on the bass, and uh, there's nothing uh, going on with the image yet. So this is how it sounds. So let's take a snap of the actual image of that sound. All right, so we have the default, which is uh, encompass all the uh, information. We can have just what's going on on the left, on the right, on the, the mid signal. And the side signal finally um, we did a tutorial on mid side EQing and kind of explaining what mid side is you can go find it in our archives and watch that tutorial if you're not familiar with the mid side but it's quite simple you have the stereo the mid signal and you have the side signal that's, that's kind of super simple and this this plugin might actually uh, help you understand it uh, in a better way. So we have all that and uh, what we're going to do is now start messing with the uh, the image with wider and you see we have the uh, in and through which is uh, just a signal passing by the plugin but a really useful thing that you have in the meter is the width. Okay, this is how wide it, it, it actually is. And once you go like one, that's, that could be uh, named the correlation too. And once it goes over 100%, you actually lose signal. It's just, it's just too wide and you lose it. Okay, um, so you, uh, and, and the meter is well done. Well, once it's uh, red, it's, uh, it's a signal that you've lost. So let's mess with that. Yeah, we really see how the wider is uh, behaving. That would be a um, decent uh, settings. And now let's go too crazy on it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I say too crazy, but in the end, we don't lose much. And I think I think it's that's kind of part of the uh, the branding of that plugin. It's that it doesn't mess uh, too much with the stereo uh, image in in some sense that you don't lose many information or or almost none. Yeah, there's just like some some bumps that we lose, but uh, this uh, Woody settings is style is nice, but we don't see much. So I'm gonna go maybe with uh, futuristic. Uh, yeah, okay, we we see we see better. So we really see how wide wider gets the the stereo image. Now um, let's turn off wider and let's play with the ozone imager. And we also, uh, if you go to the lissages here, you have kind of the same uh, same way of representing uh, the stereo image. But we also have the polar level view, which is, I don't um, I don't use much. Uh, I stick to uh, polar sample and lissages. So we stretched the image, but now let's see uh, in uh, mono what it does. So now no side information anymore, which is uh, normal in that case. And you see that now it's, it's just a line. And we also hear that this now it's super it's it's mono. And now let's uh, stretch and try to get some uh, correlation problem. And you can see that that would be that here would be the same uh, metering as here. Yeah, so good news, uh, we, we can't get uh, anything problematic here too. But with some sounds, uh, you can do the test on your own. Uh, if, you, if you push too much, so, some sounds that are already wide, you're going to lose information. So that's a good way to use it. If you want to just have a, a, a good view on how wide a sound is, on one sound, it's okay, but if you're, let's say, stacking a bunch of leads and some pads in, in the, your mix and and you feel like some stuff is is uh, at the same place and it, it doesn't mix well. Uh, sometimes get, having a good view of it with some meter for your the stereo meter could be a good thing. Finally, uh, another use uh, of, the, of this plugin of this type of metering is on a final master, and you want to check if you maybe you've stretched too much some things. Uh, you can just slap it on the master and listen. Uh, and you know, a small dip in you know over 100% is not uh, it's okay, but uh, if it stays there for a couple of seconds, it, 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 you're losing too much information. But you know, small dip, it's okay. And uh, yeah, you can, you can basically see if there's a problem. Also, you can uh, check on your side because um, you don't want uh, to have on your side too much low and in, low end information. Uh, so you can like solo your side to do that. So let's do both of those things. Let's look for the if, if we have some problems with the whiteness and also let's listen at the side signal.
So everything is fine. And uh, you, you've noticed we've listened to the side information and definitely you don't want to have um, too much, or you don't want to have low rumble on your side because uh, it, can, it can create muddiness. All that uh, low end power needs to be on the midsection. And so, you know, of course this, this is the case, so that's great. And there was no dip or anything problem with the width. So master is cool, but definitely a great way to check your own master. And in the past, it, when I was, you know, learning and uh, becoming a, a better producer, um, I had some problem with some, some tracks. I just went way too crazy on the stereo image and I've lost some information. And the thing is that uh, some, you know, um, clubs are in, they have some, their sound system, it's actually in mono. So uh, if you lose, if you have information that is lost, uh, it's gonna, it's not gonna go through in the club, in the club sound system or any, I say club, but could be a uh, like big room sound system or anything. So now you're aware of all that and you can start applying it right now. So that was stereo metering. The very good news for you is all the plugins I've used today, you can use them right now. You can access them because they're freeware. Thanks to all the companies for providing us a nice plugins like that. And you can now start applying this to your workflow and have a better view of your stereo image. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe for more content by myself or other Ecos Act producers. And I will see you in another video.